When I think about JB Farm, I think about water. The site has over a half mile of Crow Valley Creek in it, and this creek has just been through a lot. <laughs> It's been heavily impacted in the last 200 years since the arrival of your American settlers and deep ditching of this creek to really contain it to a set area rather than letting it just kind of meander. Water is a pretty hot topic right now. So this is a site where we can do lots of restoration work that'll hopefully be able to hold more water for everything that lives here, all the other beings and the, the people, the community around here. What we are working on now is trying to increase some of that complexity, the biodiversity, get some of that function back into the system. One of the ways we're doing that is by planting back along the buffer, so trying to increase the vegetation that's along the creek, which is gonna both add shade and improve water quality. And then we're also working on um, using things like beaver dam analogs to try to slow the water down, create more meanders, really allow for more water storage and more hydrological complexity in this area. Over 80% of Western Washington's wildlife species use riparian areas at some point in their life. So this is actually just so critical for our entire community and the San Juan Islands of Species. Everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to be in the water. It's really an important part of our work to be thinking about water and doing this watershed restoration work.